guys welcome back to my channel so it's ace lifestyle so today's video is pretty much i feel like this is a video i should have done like this should be like my first video on my youtube but then i didn't realize but now that i know i'm like you know what let's do it so it's gonna be a get to know me video so without further ado let's jump in the video all right guys so just like i said earlier it's gonna be a get to know me while i'm trying to install a wig on my hair Oh, I'm using this edge control to get my edges. Snatch to the back. I hope it's focused. So, firstly, my name. My name is Solace. And my age, I'm in my 20s. That's all I'm going to say. Is it early 20s? Is it late 20s? Is it late 15, 16? Whatever. So, just like I said, I'm in my I'm in my twenties. I leave. I can't believe in Canada. Well, my background is Nigerian, so I'm Nigerian Canadian. Uh, Back in Nigeria, like all of my childhood, I was, yeah, I was born and raised in Nigeria. So all of my childhood was in Nigeria. My primary, secondary, I actually even went to a polytechnic. I went to La Poly, which is Moshuda Biola Polytechnic, but I didn't finish because I had to travel. Because I traveled out, so pretty much. But then I only did like one year. My second year, I traveled. That time, a lot of people didn't know I was traveling. Obviously, I didn't tell people, not gonna lie. Even though I knew I was moving. Well, anything that comes free. The old immigration stuff was all my mom and my, like, my mom, my dad. They both did it, so I don't really know much. So that time, they tried to make sure we were not distracted from school, so we are going to school. We're doing everything so they're like okay whenever it's ready so i was like because i feel like if i stayed and said oh, you know what i wasn't gonna go to school and wait because i was traveling it makes no sense you know so anyway so i was in school and when the old stuff was ready all i had to do was just quit the school and move to canada funny enough i actually wrote like those questions i was gonna you know, answer so why that i'm using this oil which i mix with some stuff if you want to know let me know so i'm just going to add uh, this oil to my hair so relationship status i have a partner he's amazing i have a college degree i also have a diploma in the same program which is a uh, hospitality and tourism management my favorite food I really like egg, like fried egg. I love proteins a lot too. I love sweet things, but I'm, I try to reduce it as much as I can at this moment. But I know I said I'm gonna reduce it, but I have this ice cream I got yesterday from Costco. Because trust me, Costco ice cream is the best. The best of the best so when it comes to friendship i actually have two close friends like this are actually my close friends and i have like other friends so i have friends from like when i was in school i have friends from when i was at work so i have like a lot of different friends but like my friends that i'm actually close to that anger with they're just you and of course i have like a platonic friends back home in nigeria so you have some friends there which were close or the ones that we went to Maybe school, secondary school, or like college, whatever, together. So I still have those ones. But when it comes to my friends, yeah, I only have two. What uh, do I love to do? Oh my God. I love to sleep. Like I am a sleep addict. You know, people get high on drugs and stuff like that. But me, I don't joke with my sleep. Like I don't care who you are when I'm sleeping if I have to pick up your car when I'm sleeping oh my god you better be important of course
but I don't joke with my sleep. Like when it comes to sleep, I don't, I don't, don't, don't. Also, uh, my favorite social media. Oh, uh, I think I'm in between because there's a time I used to love TikTok. Like I was up on TikTok all the time, and I was like, okay, I actually like Instagram. So now I'm kind of like debating between Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. So. YouTube, I wasn't really consistent, but now I'm back. So now that I'm back, I'm very, like, very, very consistent on it. So Instagram, my YouTube, I'm very consistent. I'm trying to go back to be consistent on my TikTok as well. Let me tell you, if you're installing a wig and you want your wig to last, if you're not using Airbnb spray, I swear to God, I'm not trying to be this thing. Like, no, you're not doing the right thing because obviously, I do have got to be, but I have tried both and I can testify everyone is the best. Got to be, I feel like got to be is like just for like styling your wig or like styling whatever, but when it comes to actually like installing and everything like that, trust me, everyone is the best. Also, I'm trying to not do a uh, bald cap, so I see people actually do it this way. So let's see. If it's gonna work and also i'll be starting this week made me start a social media i think like i've always like no okay that's a lie for a while i wasn't really active on my social media let's say for like maybe like a year or two years i will like maybe in a year i'll only upload like one video sorry one picture i wasn't like uh fantasize about the old social media and stuff like that then later on i was like you know what let me actually be let me be consistent on the social media app and let's see how it goes in. Maybe it's, it's for me or stuff like that. So now I've been like very consistent on it. And also I was feeling, sometimes I feel depressed. So I was like, oh yeah, you know what? Let me use social media as my coping mechanism. I'm not going to know which helps. So. so that was the reason why I started social media and i'm not trying to be you know show i don't want to show off i'm not trying to be like oh you're doing show off stuff like that but i swear to god if you know me my friends know me i'm actually a very funny person like but i'm i think i am actually more funny when it comes to like in yoruba or in uh, pigeon oh sorry also i'm a yoruba babe so born raised in nigeria i'm a legit legit yoruba babe like oh my, don't try me I speak my Yoruba very, very well. Like, it's so funny how some of my, some of my friends have come when I'm talking to them and I'm speaking, they're like, oh, you see, understand you, but I'm like, duh, what am I going to speak at home? Like, you think every time you want to go out, it's not every time I want to be outside and speaking because sometimes you're going and maybe you're at work and I'm speaking English. When I come home, I want to feel comfortable. I come home, I'm speaking my Yoruba. So when I'm talking to my friends on the phone, maybe like WhatsApp, whatever, social media, we're talking on. I actually have a friend, Dimitri, he's always like, oh my. Oh, it's a cool Nigeria, and I've been here for a while. It's always like I do not even change. I'm like, how can I change? I'm always on social media. I'm seeing uh, what's it called? I always see things going on. I know what's going on and everything like that. So I'm going to and decide when I'm home. I speak Yoruba. Only once in a while, maybe I'm trying to like joke with my mom. Then I start speaking uh, English to her. But I'm sorry, I love to speak my Yoruba because language is very, very important when you're abroad. And also, I used to see like a lot of like Chinese uh, kids. That's one thing I love about Chinese. They don't care who you are. like. They don't care. Even the kids, even though they cannot speak, they understand because their parents are always making sure you're speaking your language. Like they don't joke. So when it comes to language, it's very good. Also, when you have, if you see somebody that have accent, it's a good thing. That shows you that this person can speak not just English. They have all the talent. So it's actually a talent for people to be able to speak a different language so people try to like shame them like oh my god your asset is so thick da, 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 da. i'm like that it's a good thing darling i mean an asset it's the best also one of my talent talents <laughs> i'm actually i like i have a very good voice and i'm very shy when it comes to singing so you know people that sing in the bathroom or when they're alone president <laughs> Thank you. I am the president of people that sing in the bathroom. I don't want to sing outside. Also, 
actually have this talent of I can change my voice, I can be on the phone, or maybe I can be like I feel like I actually be on the phone most of the time. I can be crying and you won't even see a tears. I can like I can change my voice to like be like very thick. Wait, let me see if I can do something. Oh, what shall I say? Hello? Oh, oh wait. I don't know what to say, so I really don't know how I'm going to put that. Anyways, I'm using this uh bond. Sorry, is it bond or glue? Yeah, I'm using this glue to do this week, so it is very, very watery. So like I have like voices, I can change my voice when it comes to the time to change a voice. Oops, okay. I swear to God, if this method works, guys, you will not be seeing me doing board head anymore. I'll be using this uh, air spray. Also, this is my uh, what's it called? This is my heat protector that I'm using. And let me show you once again. This is the air spray stuff. So. Now I know there's still the air is still looking summer, but trust me, we're gonna get it. Also, okay, let's get back to the questions. What can I not live without? I think I can live without eating and sleeping. I think those two are actually like my favorite things to do in the world. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, and also when it comes to family, I am. The last one so we're just two it's just me and my sister me and my, an amazing sister i'm always been spoiled by my sister i know she doesn't like it when i say that she's always like no you're not but trust me my sister is amazing every time i ask her for stuff she always like 90 percent she will always like do it for me and sometimes she doesn't which i understand if she doesn't but she's always making sure i am happy which is a good thing. Uh, what do I notice of people at first sight? Mm. Mm, that one, I don't I feel like, let's say I can sense like, I feel like the energy, like if you meet some people for the first time, sometimes the energy is off, sometimes the energy is good. So it depends, I'm not gonna lie. Also, what is my sign? I'm not, trust me, I'm not into those bullshit. Oh my god, because you're Pisces, that's why we have attitude. Fuck that. You have attitude is because of your behavior. Change your fucking self. So, but then to me, um, uh, I'm born in December, so I am actually what's called I'm a Capricorn. So, I'm me, there's nothing that has to do with oh, because I'm Capricorn, I'm da da da. No, it is what it is. If I'm gonna be that kind of person, you're gonna be that kind of person, and if not, funny. Don't try to blame a zodiac sign for your bullshit or for your rudeness. Like I don't like when people say stuff like that. Like you're rude, you're rude. Because wasn't like oh because we have Capricorn. That's no. Nah. You're a bad person. You're a bad person. Fix yourself. Don't put that shit on. Listen. Oh, also yeah. I'm using this uh, melting spray, so I feel like as you can see, there's like white-ish stuff, so yeah. And some of them are not like well blended, like this one is like lifting, but then I'm going to use this uh, melting spray to fix it up. I love to travel, that's another thing about me, but the economy is not looking so good, so I only travel down the streets that's my only place to travel for now oh wait yeah I'm actually obsessed with perfumes like i love 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 perfumes i am obsessed with them i have one question that is actually very interesting but i'm gonna keep that question to be the last questions i'm gonna answer i lied my best best movie to watch when I tell you I've watched this movie a hundred and fifty million billion trillion times, I have I can actually act this movie. I swear to God. Baubali, it's an Indian movie. 
when I was in school, I remember when I was in like my diploma years in college, like my friends, like I have a lot of like classmates who were like Indians. So a lot of them are always like, they actually call me Bahubali because I was so obsessed. They're like, girl, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, but I just love the movie. Like I watched it like so many times till today. Like right now I'm actually watching it. When I say I'm obsessed, yeah, my fr- my sister knows like even on the TV when I play Bahubali, she's like, girl, again, take a break. Then one time I put my mommy on and she actually loved it for Baobali, me and Baobali. I will see you guys when everything is done and I'm going to answer the last question. So before I answer the last question, I have one more question to answer. I don't know why somebody asks me, am I married? I'm like, honey, do you see anything here? no anyway so i'm having this uh cider my man put me on this honey i can't remember the other uh apple cider we use but this one by itself it is good so it has strawberry and lime as you can see and it's a tent so of course i got it from lcbo and So cheers to you guys for watching today's video and getting to know a little bit more about me. Mm. That was good. Oh, that was good. You know when everything is hot and you suddenly have something cold? Mm. Mm. That is truly heaven on earth. And as you guys, as you guys can see, the install is done. I'm just pretty much uh, using a straightener to straighten it. Tomorrow is eclipse of the moon, so I don't know if I'll be going. I really want to go. Hopefully, my mom uh, comes with me. I'm using this olive oil, but it, I think they changed the bottle, so this is the I think this is the new one version. This is like the older version, or maybe they see Abby, but this is the one I got recently. Uh, so, like I said, tomorrow is eclipse of the moon. And they said you're going to see it's much better in Niagara. I am not sure if I'm gonna to go to Niagara or not, but I really, really want to go. But I really don't want to go by myself. So I'm kind of like counting on my mom if she wants to go. So if she wants to go, me and my mom are gonna go. Or there. Or I can even ask one of my friends. But she might be busy. They might be busy because I know they went to the state today and I didn't go. I was supposed to go to the state as well. I didn't go because I had things to do and it was like last minute, whatever. So anyways, the last question was, are you adopted? Wow. Anyways, I am not. I, like I said earlier, I'm the last child of two. And I am very, very, like I am spoiled in my immediate family extended family my partner spoils me too i know he doesn't like me hearing that so it's always like sometimes when we're talking like you're sports i'm like no but then sometimes i realize i'm like yeah that's actually true i'm actually sports but it is what it is so that's the question i was like let me give you guys so you guys can know a little bit more about me so let me know if you enjoy this video Give it a thumbs up, drop your comment, let me know if you guys want to see more or you guys want to see something different or maybe like a story time. I have a story time I can share with you guys as well. So without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.